What I have here is a MacBook Pro, which belongs to Dominic, who is the director of IT at SEML. Uh, and I'm going to use it to demonstrate a vulnerability in the kernel of Mac OS. Now, I have an account on this machine, but I don't need it. I'm going to log in as the guest user, uh, just to prove that I don't need any special privileges to do this. Um, the vulnerability is in the NFS software, which is part of the kernel of Mac OS. Um, NFS is used on things like uh, NAS devices, which you might have at home to, to store files on. Um, also, it's quite widely used at corporations. So if you have something like uh, a, a network filer in your office, then that's probably running NFS software. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show that this is a fully patched system. So you can see there that that is uh, running version 10.13.5, um, which I believe is going to be patched very soon. Um, and that's when this bug is going to be fixed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up a terminal um, so that I can mount a drive, uh, sorry, a directory from my um, special NFS filer that I've written. Um, like I said, um, often the computer would already be set up to mount an NFS drive. So if, for example, you work in a big corporation, then the IT department might have set up your computer to automatically connect to an NFS filer. Or if you're at home and you've got a, a NAS device, then you might already have set up your computer to automatically connect to it. Now, interestingly, on a Mac, you don't actually need any kind of super user permission to mount a directory. So I'm just going to create a directory here. Let me just make the font size a little bigger here. I'm going to create a, a directory in the home directory of the guest user that I'm going to mount the, the, the filer onto. And then I do that by issuing this command here. And what I'm going to type in here is the IP address of the computer that is running my special NFS server software. Uh, but this address could be anywhere in the world. It could be on any, any website, and you could um, trigger, trigger this in the same way. OK, that's the command. Let's see what happens. And that was a hard reboot of the computer. And there's my favorite screen. So um, all I did there was cause the computer to crash. But this is definitely something that, um, with more time and effort, could be turned into um, an exploit that completely takes control of your computer. It would have um, kernel privilege level. So it's very serious.